Hey guys, this is Andrew and today I'm gonna be teaching you how to make adobo rice. I'm not gonna teach you how to make rice. This should already be pre-cooked. And I have about um, three cups of rice here. I think this is three to four cups of rice and adobo. Now you can buy this. No, I'm just kidding. Don't buy this in the store. If you wanna learn how to make adobo, click the card above. This is actually pork adobo. I have about two cups of pork adobo here already cooked. It's been in the fridge for like three weeks. I'm just kidding. It's been there for about like uh, three days already. We had a double three days ago. I've got here some crushed um, garlic and two onions. We're just gonna chop this up for our rice later. And I got here some oil, whatever oil you wanna use for sauteing and some fish sauce for that umami punch and some black pepper. All right, so what is a double rice? A double, oh, sorry, no, I shouldn't say, all right. Okay, so let's just get started. Um, I'm just gonna chop some onions here. These are just white onions. But I'm gonna be chopping into smaller pieces. Always remember to have a garbage bowl around. You always wanna keep your area nice and clean. So just gonna chop this up, dice these up, big or as small how small you want it. Yeah, just chop this, dice it up, dice it, dice it. Ah! It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. I'm just kidding. Now this might seem like it's a lot, but once it hits the pan and then when you sweat it out, it's just gonna like whole bunch of onion here, just gonna be like half, half of it. So transfer this into a bowl, like so. Always keep your station clean, Drew. We're just gonna mince our garlic to small pieces. Now I use, this is about two bulbs of garlic. I said two cloves, this is two bulbs of garlic and I really like garlic, so I need a Always be safe in the kitchen. Keep a towel under your board so no nothing is gonna slip on you. So just uh, mince this up. It doesn't have to be super small. So half of this, I'm gonna make it into crispy garlic so that we can top it off later in our rice. And then half of it, I'm just gonna use it for sauteing for the rice. I'm crying. Why am I crying right now? Who put these onions here? So they don't have to be finely minced. This is fine. I'll take it. So again, half of this will go to the rice and half of this will still go to the rice, but crispy. Everything will go to the rice, don't worry about it. So I have here some pork adobo again. If you wanna learn how to make it, make sure to click the card above from a while ago, but I'm just gonna put it there again, just so make sure you watch it. So this I'm just gonna cut it into smaller pieces so that it'll be easier to eat later. But if you want it whole, why? You, st you still want to cut it into smaller pieces. So you have no choice but to cut them. Doesn't have to be precise, just cut it up. It's how big or as small as you want. I'm including the fat and all because fat is flavor. Okay, don't let anybody tell you otherwise because they're lying to you. Fat is where all the flavor is. Of course, too much fat is not good for you. Who would have thought? <laughs> but yeah, it doesn't matter how big or small they are, just make sure that they're bite-sized pieces. So every bite of adobo rice you have, you have some pieces of actual adobo in it. That's what everybody wants, right? I'm just gonna return this to the sauce so that it saturates the meat even more. It's gonna be super tasty, I, I promise you especially when you follow my adobo recipe so do that so i've got an induction i got an induction here i don't know what you call it please let me know in the comment section below what the hell you call this thing first we have to crisp up the garlic the half of this so that we can top it later but that's what we're gonna start with you actually need a good amount of oil and i'm just gonna i'm gonna need more oil than this i'm not gonna lie that's about two to three tablespoons of oil and then we just want to heat it up a little bit just a little bit you don't want it smoking before you put the actual garlic because it's just gonna burn just put half of it first okay if you're a sizzle and you're good Move this around, keep moving it around because if you just let it stay there, it's just gonna burn on you and nobody wants burnt garlic. Also have a strainer and a bowl ready just so that once it's cooked, it's done. This will probably take about three to four minutes. You know what? I actually hate cooking and induction um, surfaces. There you go. I can't visually see how hot it is. I know there's a number there. It says 400, but what the hell does that mean? I'd rather cook over flame so that I know exactly how hot my pan is, but that's just me. I'm a dumbass. I just want to keep moving it around so that it doesn't burn, especially with a spatula like this. It's almost there. You want to remove it right before it turns to the color you want it because once you remove it, it's just gonna continue cooking. And yeah, if you remove it when it's already brown, it's just gonna turn darker. Once it cools down, it can taste bitter. You don't want bitter, crispy garlic, yeah? So the garlic is almost there. I'm just gonna transfer it 
garlic is crispy it's gonna get crispier it'll also help if you cut it in similar sizes so that they all crisp up together but you know what it's fine so putting the garlic oil back we're gonna saute the, gar uh, the garlic again and some onions and make we just want to sweat them down i'm gonna start off with the onions first and sweat this down real good and once it turns translucent uh, that's the time where you can add the garlic it's only take about one to two minutes i'm gonna add a little bit more oil here i feel like it needs more oil just put everything so nothing is wasted right increase the heat a little bit so that it sweats much faster adobo rice is one of my favorite uh, dishes to eat just because it's so comforting it has rice it has adobo and later i'm gonna put the fried egg on top of it so it'll just complete the dish and you know it's something that you would eat when you're depressed something i don't know or if you just want to eat good food and also not waste the uh, adobo left in your fridge so now it's translucent i'm gonna add the rest of my garlic and then just cook this up until everything is nice and combined and nice and fragrant the house already smells like i've been cooking something really good for like the past hour or so or something i don't know when people go to your house and they smell onions and garlic cooking, they're always going to say, Oh my god, it smells amazing. Because you know what? It does smell amazing. But little do they know you're just cooking onions and garlic. So again, I'm just going to saute this for like uh, two to three minutes. Just want the garlic to be soft a little bit. You don't want to uh, chew on raw garlic. That's what you don't want to do. Chewing on raw garlic, that's the worst. Not really the worst, but especially for the, this kind of uh, for dish, you don't want to chew on raw garlic. The onions and garlic have sweated down. I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add the adobo now with the sauce and all. Also, I think I left the bay leaf here. Hopefully, uh, right there. There you go. You don't want to add the bay leaf. It's not edible. I can eat this like this, but no. You can add rice. Make everything a million times better. Uh, once it's all combined, you can now add the rice. I cooked this rice this morning. If you have rice left over from the night before. It'll be fine, but I prefer using uh, rice, uh, newly cooked rice, just because it's easier to mix. But yeah, you can do whatever you want. So this is already looking pretty good, in my opinion. Uh, if you want to make the color of the rice darker, just add a little bit more soy sauce or nor seasoning if you prefer that. But I'm just gonna add a little bit more um, fish sauce because that's, I like the, the umami flavor that the fish sauce gives to this dish. And it just works well. It's adobo, fish sauce, you know. I don't know if you guys put fish sauce in your adobo, but I always do. It just gives it a depth, a depth, a depth of flavor that you can't just get with soy sauce. Once the rice is almost all brown, you're almost there. I'm gonna add some fish sauce about I'm gonna say a tablespoon fish sauce because uh, the, the flavor of the, of the adobo has diluted from the rice and some black pepper, which I will, I can't do it with one hand. So our adobo rice is almost done. It's gonna crack that black pepper I promised you guys a while ago just cause I can't do it with one hand. Nothing's coming out. Just put a lot. It'll just help enhance the dish and it's, I love black pepper and everything especially in pastries. I'm just kidding. And this rice is good, finito, done. Actually, I just wanna taste it. Why? Why does this dish have to be so good? God knows I can't finish this, right? Uh, I'm sharing this with my family. I'm only eating like a part of it. <laughs> okay, this is for my family, not just for me. Doing this for my fam. Now, I'm gonna cook the egg on top to, uh, to top on to this adobo rice okay so i put the rice here on the side and i've got a pan here which i'm gonna cook the egg in i have this egg shaper i know flame right but i just want the egg to be nice and formed like that so i'm just gonna add a little bit of oil in the middle put this in the middle then hopefully cooks properly time to plate our adobo Right, so I had to take a picture outside because it was a beautiful day out and it just looked nice. So 
This is gonna be my first bite. I know this is for my family, but I cooked and I think I deserve the first bite. Here we go. Mm. Absolutely amazing. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you tried this recipe and let me know how your adobo rice turned out and just look at it or just put some biro. This isn't a good angle, but just look at it again. Then I know you, you're probably going to make this at home. Till next time, guys. Peace.